Let's start with the pedal that surprised, surprised me the most. I thought this would be garbage. This is the MZ2 Digital Metalizer, not to be confused with the Metal Zone or the Hyper Metal. Um, this is actually an analog pedal or analog distortion circuit with a digital kind of chorus doubling circuit on there. Um, you can just get some really wacky kind of uh, or just really good distorted tones out of it really. Um, the word metal is sort of a misnomer in this case, I think. It's not that metal distortion. It has no, doesn't sound like a metal zone whatsoever. Just a very cool sounding distortion. Um, you could use it to boost an amp or just as on a clean channel. Um, I did a, actually I'm going to link to all the videos that I've already done of these, so um, you should be on the screen. But uh, this has a whole bunch of modes, um, I guess six modes, and uh, you can start with just no chorus or doubling, and then you can, or with just the distorted effect, and then you can, each other mode has chorus and then has a doubling effect too, so just a cool pedal, never knew about this one, um, the MZ2. Next up, we'll, we'll stay in the uh, distortion overdrive uh, zone, so to speak, no pun intended. Um, this is the dual overdrive, the SD2. I'd never heard of this before I started doing these boss pedals. And this is a two channel overdrive pedal. Um, the first channel, the crunch channel, as it's uh, denoted, is not that great. The lead channel is basically just kind of like your, your typical like rock high gain, or relatively high gain distor distortion sound. And it sounds awesome. I like it on both a clean and a sort of a dirty, dirty uh, amp to kind of boost it. Um, but just a great pedal, and it has a little remote switch, so it's, tr it's like a truly two-channel pedal, which is kind of unique, I guess, or you know, somewhat unique, especially for Boss. So this is the SD2 dual overdrive, probably the little, the, the lesser known of any of the overdrive pedals that are. It's actually one of my favorites. So we're gonna hit the final um, gain distortion overdrive fuzz pedal. Uh, and my list, this is the FZ, FZ2 Hyper Fuzz. Um, I think it's sort of overshadowed by the FZ3, which is more of a vintage sounding fuzz. But this has three sounds, or it has two fuzz sounds. One's sort of like your typical kind of like um, Big Muff, which sounds great. Very Smashing Pumpkins. The second one is sort of a, um, I don't know, sort of like more scoop sounding fuzz. It could be cool for some lo-fi stuff. And then the third thing it has is just a gain boost, which is just like a boost. And it has an EQ on here, so you can really tailor the sound. So this is really cool, too. Um, this is my favorite fuzz pedal probably ever. Uh, it just does it does a lot of cool stuff, and it's, you know, uh, just kind of a hidden gem of boss pedals, I'd say. And it, of, of fuzz, mostly of fuzz pedals in general. Um, and it's in the Hyper series. I think there are only two pedals. There is the Hyper Metal which was the successor to the heavy metal, which the hyper metal is no good. Um, but this is the much better of the two of the hyper series, so the uh, FZ2 Hyper Fuzz. So uh, we have two more pedals left. Uh, this actually has two names. This is the DC3 Digital Dimension, or in Japan, or I think either that or the later release was the uh, Digital Space D. Um, same pedal, uh, both coming up pink, sparkly, uh, paint job worth a pink sparkly paint job, and uh, the reason I like this, I prefer this over the DC. I think it's the DC2, um, which is much the the uh, Dimension C, uh, which is much more sought after. Although this is kind of expensive too, um, is because the the DC3 it has a much more subtle sound. You can control it a lot more. This is digital, but it still sounds great. I find that uh, with the effects level at 12 and everything else at 12, you get a really nice sort of subtle chorusing. And I actually used this on our, our album um, in, a, in one, one or two spots. So uh, the DC2 is, DC3, sorry, it's awesome. Uh, probably my favorite chorus pedal, even over the CE2, which is sort of well, more well known. So DC3. It may not be a hidden gem in the sense that it's not sought after, but it's a hidden gem in the sense that it sounds awesome, and it's, I think it's, I prefer it to the DC2, so go figure. <laughs> and finally, uh, I chose this last because it's, I have, I use this actually in my rig, um, and there is actually two pedals. It's the DC, DSD2 and the DSD3, okay, same pedal, different name, same thing with the DD2, DD3, 
whole other story. Um, slightly different circumstances, but the DSD2 slash 3 uh, used the same chip, pardon me, uh, as the DD2 with the, um, the long chip, okay? So not a lot of people know about this. You know, these are probably more harder to find than the DD2s, but they go for cheaper and they're the same delay, typical delay, uh, you get the same t delay tone out of it. it, uses the exact same chip. So I, uh, I use these in, instead of the DD2 because they're cheaper and um, they're just more unique and it has this sort of sampler function, which is pretty garbage. Um, but, you know, you still get your delay time like the DD2 um, and it's a great pedal. And in fact, I have one, uh, two, I have a DD, DSD2, DSD3, uh, another DSD2, this is modded, another DSD2, and then yet another. <laughs> DSD2 in the box, because why not? Don't fail me now, every ship I seek, every